guys, it's Teresa of Larkin Design. I'm here today with week 29 from my 2016 Project Life album. And I am working with uh, Simple Stories, Sunshine and Happiness collection today. And the layout that I have created was uh, created in the Project Life app. And I used the girl-themed cards in the app itself. And so, um, just a couple of little notes here. First off, I had, I had said last week that I was doing week 30 and I didn't think that I was going to show week 29 um, publicly. And then I decided to go ahead and do that. And um, so what happened was we had a really special visitor from out of town. And um, this is Dala, my very BFF forever best friend and um, she came to visit and she had a special visitor with her named Shelby and um, so Shelby if you're watching hello and it was so nice to meet you and I didn't want to violate anybody's privacy and so at first I wasn't gonna um, include this week and then I thought you know what you should just get permission see if you can get permission and include the the layout and so sure enough we got permission and um, so anyway this layout will be included so here's week 29 and um, so the right hand or the left hand side of the layout is just the miscellany of the week and um, so it, uh, yes absolutely another cat picture <laughs> Um, for some reason, Zoe was going through this phase, um, where she wanted to lay on my husband's tablet at night and just lay across the whole thing. <laughs> She's funny that way. So we did that. And, um, my flowers. And then, of course, this was the week that Pokemon Go was released. And so... I took a couple of screenshots of the Pokemon and included that in a little collage at the lower left-hand corner. Um, so you'll see what I'm doing here is I'm just adding some of my dates and some other embellishments to the um, date card here. And... I, let's see, I think that these alphabets are from Dear Lizzie, Happy Place. Um, so, the colors that I'm using here, um, I did choose the girl-themed cards. And then I'll go ahead and prepare you that by the time I sat down to do this layout, I was sort of not really happy with those cards um, and so you'll see, I'm going to cover, I'm going to cover up a couple of them. And this happens sometimes. Um, I just decide that, oh, well, I'm just not really happy with the cards from the app and I wanted to use something different. And the simple stories, um, sunshine and happiness, if I had some really cute, cute, um, three by four and four by six cards in that collection um, on their cut apart sheet. So I decided to use those instead. <laughs> and um, so I just cut them down. When I cut them down, they end up being about two and three quarters by three and three quarters inches. Um, I, I don't know the metric. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> um, they they could probably stand to be a little bit bigger than that if you're wondering um, what size to cut them down. And I know that um, you know I hear I see this question a lot in the um, Facebook groups that I'm on and just general app talk when people talk about using the Project Life app. People ask all the time, can you have your can you have your Project Life layouts printed, cut the pictures out, and put them in your pockets? 
And um, the answer is yes, you can, absolutely. <laughs> um, but they are a tiny bit smaller. They're like a quarter inch smaller all the way around. And um, so I know that Becky has shown a comparison on her blog showing what the what the page looks like printed out and then what it the same page looks like um cut and placed into pockets um and so that is certainly one way that you can do it and then this is another way that um you can just cover up the cards that you've printed and i noticed that in the latest update there are some solid colored cards included now in each kit. Yay! Um, so I think that's awesome because um, you could certainly just print out all white, right? And then layer on top when you get your prints in. Um, I don't know if I would want to do that every week because I like a lot of the card kits that are in the app. Um, and of course the option to use Dropbox and use other um, collections from other manufacturers is incredibly awesome too. So I th there's a lot of different options and I think that you should do the option that works for you and that makes you happiest. And um, so I'm definitely happy with how this layout ended up. Um, just from using the Simple Stories collection instead. So, um, anyway, back to the layout itself. <laughs> there were some cute um, diagonal elements on some of the 3x4 cards. And so I've used, I used that at the, on the bottom picture. Um, and then you'll see here, I am channeling my uh, Kelly Perky here. Um, if you watch Kelly Perky's videos, I love her to bits. Just love her. Love her style. She writes around her plates. Um, and I decided to write on our kitchen cabinets on that picture. So there you go. There's that. Now, um, this is the right hand side of the layout and this is about our visit from my friend Ala and so um, I don't know I just think that that diagonal stripe was a bit too much with these photos um, we met up in the evening and it was dark and so the pictures are dark and um, that's okay you know these things happen right and th this is life I'm photographing life here and um, so I just wanted to use more white-based cards and sort of brighten the layout a little bit. Um, I think that's one of the reasons why I changed from the girl-themed cards. Um, so, and that's okay. <laughs> so this is all of us. We actually, we just went to Applebee's for dinner. So this is in the lobby of the Applebee's and we asked the one of the um, hostesses to take our picture. Don't be afraid to do to ask someone. You know, can you get a picture of all of us? And so there we are, um, all of us just being crazy. <laughs> so, but Dala is. Um, I have to to give a shout out because. Uh, I met Dala through an, an online mom's group years and years ago, and um, before we had kids, and so we've just remained in touch and um, have stayed friends all this time, even though we kind of live a little bit far away, but um, that's okay, and then once a year, they... they um, drive through on their way on vacation. So this is our, our once a year visit <laughs> in person. And um, yeah, so that just deserved its own page here. And um, you'll see I kind of cut apart some of those um, 
journaling cards from the Simple Stories collection. Um, yeah, and then just added whatever, whatever looked like fun. Nothing very complicated. <laughs> Some of these embellishments, um, somehow my, one of my fancy pants collections got mixed in here. Um, so there might be a couple of little things from fancy pants, life is beautiful. But I, I think everything that I put down on the layout was from sunshine and happiness. So I'm going to um, just write a little journaling, and I wrote a little bit about meeting Shelby and just getting to see Dalla um, was pretty awesome. And what ends up happening here is that the, the title that I created, Love This Family, um, of course, it's a bit much next to the you are awesome. And then I wanted to do something with the sunshine and happiness, but it was just too many titles, right? <laughs> we only need one title. So uh, you'll see me try to try to work on that. Um, these are my, my wood embellishments. Most of those were from Gossamer Blue, um, just miscellaneous kits. Um, and so I end, I end up using this Hello Sunshine. And now I'm going to go and do something about the You Are Awesome. But I ended up using a text-based <laughs> a text-based pattern paper anyway. And so that's okay. I think that you should absolutely just put put down the things that make you happy. Put the things put the things on your paper that make you happy. And um, so, just before the video ends, I wanted to just let you know this week um, is kind of probably going to be a little bit different. Um, I have jury duty on Wednesday. And I also, we've had everybody in our house sick this week. So it won't be normal production schedule this week and probably not next week either. I don't know yet. Um, so, but thanks for watching and um, I'll see you soon. You guys be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And um, thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.